previously on TV Sense. And this is hand-stitched embroidery from an indigenous tribe in Guatemala that's almost extinct. So they're not f***ing in Guatemala? <laughs> Holy f is this the unholy return of Frisky Dingo on FX? I thought Cartoon Network canceled that shit because people were getting too high to watch it, which has to be some catastrophic bar to reach when you're talking about the Cartoon Network. Sterling Archer, known from Berlin to Bangkok as the world's most dangerous spy. Glad we're starting off with some good old-fashioned torturous position so we can clearly understand who Archer is right out of the gate. And this may be old cliche, but... We have ways of making you talk. Admitting it doesn't excuse it. Even when you're in a bad guy is conducting an audience fake-out simulation, but later turns out to be the actual bad guy anyway situation. What is the point of these simulations? Discount Lucille Bluth would be excellent at TV since. Seriously, though, what good is a torture simulation when you obviously aren't going to torture anyone? Apparently you've gone so far as to paint on exact replicas of Rambo First Blood Scars. So how is this a good use of anyone's time? My code name Was is chosen at random by the ISIS computer. Computer. Picking a name in a cartoon for your secret organization that will one day be known by everyone in the real world as a terrorist organization is classic Archer. Is anyone else bothered by how Archer's cleft in his chin looks to have achieved full bifurcation? I mean, a chin dimple is one thing, but chin cleavage is something completely different. Totally get if the show didn't want to have to get any sponsors for their animated vending machines, but could they at least make it appear as if they have actual product in them? I had to pause this scene for quite a while and do lots of close examination, but I've determined that this ping pong paddle is not only larger than the mark it left, but that it would be just about impossible to also leave a mark for the handle. Look, this is the job, people. I do it for you. Also, this answering machine apparently has no power cords or phone lines. TV show doesn't even know how to answering machine. Also, also, let's see, anything else on this screen? Hmm, well, she's wearing a hat, which I guess is possible, but certainly her makeup wouldn't still be so pristine. Yeah, the makeup thing. Okay, fine, let's move on. But if I find one single dog hair when I get back, I'll rub sand in your dead little eyes. Very good, sir. I also need you to go buy sand. Yes, sir. <laughs> God, this might be one of the best written shows in the history of TV. Take your sin off, you clever bastards. One entire whole week we've been calling you. Considering we're about to find out this is the secret entrance of his agency, how has this even been an issue? Isn't he there quite a bit? Also, is it common for dry cleaner employees to just be standing at the counter holding your shirts when they see you walking in? Highly unprofessional. Really, because I find your sweatiness unprofessional. That's purse burst. The fact that we don't get more about these obvious identical blonde mustache twins working in the same department side by side every day is absolutely a sin. I'm not asking for a spin-off. I'm just asking for a one-off episode of how Gordon and Griffin here moonlight as magician assistants every Thursday night at the local club Blonde Illusions. Is that too much to ask? Remember that Lana is just a cartoon. Remember that Lana is just a cartoon. Remember that Lana is just a cartoon. Remember that- What does this smell like? Like the dysfunctional asshole I broke up with six months ago? Skip. What happened was, um, did you see Brian's song? Same thing pretty much happened. Taking Brian's song in vain. ISIS isn't your own personal travel agency. It doesn't exist just so you can jet off to Whore Island. That's not a real place. Except that it is, and it's airing on CBS All Access every freaking day of the week. Love Island, my ass. I've got your All Access right here, CBS. Oh, good. You caught the, uh, oh, wait, I, I had something for this. The PETA predator. I mean, pedophile was right there, man. The crispy creamer? I'm just saying, you had choices. If you want some food that's supposed to be cream-filled, I offer these delicious donuts. What kind of mother Dunkin' Donut place just pounds the donuts on top of each other like that? You monsters! The first, at street level, Impenetrable After Six. Fun fact, Impenetrable After Six was the nickname I gave my college girlfriend, which sucks because I worked until six like every day. The second, through an access door on the roof, inexplicably unprotected. Archer would be amazing at TV's- wait a minute, that's almost sort of the point, isn't it? For a zip line to work, it cannot have this amount of slack. Otherwise, you're just asking to pull a girl's trip with your pink and smith just hanging out there in the middle for all to see. What the hell is going on with Archer's tiny hand here? When he turns it over, it goes full Donis Maharl. Also, the show is now telling us the mouse that was in Archer's mind when he was telling the story to Cheryl is actually in the room? Does Archer have dreamscape powers? I think Archer has f***ing dreamscape powers. How did I spend that much money? Good question considering that an expense account shouldn't allow you to overspend to such an insane degree. And especially since you have do-gooder Cyril watching all the money. These are all black. Oh, are they? <sighs> I'm with the can of mixed vegetables here, considering the one he's wearing right now has a distinct blue hue to it. That is blue, right? Oh god, I just had flashbacks about arguing about that stupid internet dress. And that alone is worth this sin. I'm the mole, idiot. What? 
I made up the mole. Yes, but you told Pam, and now everyone is looking for a real mole. Are they? Absolutely no one has been looking for a mole. Lana was back at her place waiting for Cyril to make her a stir-fry. This organization is so bad that there's absolutely no way any agents were looking for a mole. Especially to the point that this dude felt any heat whatsoever. Picture her dead in the gutter. Darling! And what your pathetic life will be like without old mommy dearest. Probably less clothes hanger trauma. Sorry, wrong IP. The thought of me dead gives you an erection? No, just half of one, Johnny Bench called. I know we already took a sin off for how funny the show is, but I'm just going to take another sin off for the running Johnny Bench called joke because it is f***ing amazing. Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Quite possible this is the moment TV Sins was born. I'll leave it up to you to decide if that's a sin or not. I don't like sand. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating. Mr. Powers, Ms. Shagwell, welcome to my holodead volcano. My code name was is... chosen at random by the ISIS computer. Random? It was your dog's name. We named the dog Indiana. Is that Archer? God damn it. Archer, <laughs> go away. May I suggest messily eating an orange while I photograph it? Archer. Good day, sir. Hey, wait, <laughs> what about your... I, I said, said good day. <laughs> In the summertime, when the weather is hot, you can step right up and get a sandwich that's not. Can we please have one conversation that's not about my rack, Michael? Johnny Bench called. If that's a veiled criticism about me, I won't hear it and I won't respond to it. 